Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Yael Aleman. I'm a second year resident here at the University of Texas Health Science Center in San Antonio. Uh, I'm an anesthesiology resident and uh, anesthesiology, what that entails is taking care of patients pre-op, intra-op, and taking care of the post-operative pain and any complications that might happen acutely. Um, to get you how to know a little bit about it, uh, some of the training required for this, uh, four years of college, uh, then take some basic exams, apply to med school, get accepted, take some more exams, uh, apply to residency for anesthesiology. Uh, if you get accepted, start your residency. It's four years. After that, you're out in private practice. Um, yeah, and right here behind me, we have a little bit of the equipment and machines that we use in the mm -hmm. operating room. Uh, what we have right here is the anesthesia machine. Uh, for people who undergo general anesthesia, um, we bring them back to the OR, give them some medications, put them to sleep. Once they're asleep, put a breathing tube in their mouth, breathe for them, uh, hook them up to the anesthesia machine, put them on the vent, um, give them some medication to keep them asleep throughout the case, make sure that they're stable, that the surgeons can do the procedure safely, uh, monitor their vital signs, uh, make sure that they're uh, healthy and there are no complications in trauma and post operatively. Um, mm -hmm. Once the surgery is over, uh, take them back to PACU pack you uh, and make sure the patient is healthy, make sure their pain is under control. And uh, yeah, that's basically what we do here. What does a typical day look like for you? What time does it usually start and what time yeah. does it usually end? Uh, normally, get here at 6 a.m., set up the ORs. What that means, get up all the equipment you need. Uh, drop all the medications, get all your syringes, get all the breathing tubes, um, have all that ready. 6.30, we go to lecture, last half, about half an hour to an hour. Uh, it's then about 7, 7.15. At that point, we go to the pre-op area, meet the patient, consent them for what we're going to do, talk to them about the anesthesia, what that entails. Uh, and then once 7.30 rolls around, bring them back to the OR and uh, put them to sleep. If it's indicated and uh, make sure everything's ready to go for when the surgeons are going to do the procedure. And how often are you, do you take call? Uh, it depends on every residency. Uh, in our residency it's about four times a month. What that entails, a uh, 24-hour call. So get here at 6.30 and leave until 7 a.m. the next day. So around 24 hours. Um, sometimes you can get some sleep at night, sometimes you can. Uh, but for the most part, it's pretty light. I'd say you can always get a few hours in there. Uh, it sounds really bad, but really, it's not too bad once you get used to it. Okay. And why did you choose anesthesia uh, to uh, go into? Yeah. I've always been very interested in physiology, pharmacology, in med school, even in college. Uh, very interested in all those subjects. Uh, and once I rotated in anesthesia during med school, did my forward rotation, I really love what the professional intel, um, get to meet the patient in pre-op, get to know them, build a, a report very quickly. Um, and really, um, the physiology and the pharmacology, like I said, all the medications, we get to do a little bit of everything here. We're pharmacists, we're nurses, we're physician, and all of this very acutely. Plus, there's a lot of procedures, and it's, it's a really interesting uh, profession. I really recommend it. Okay, and how much can an anesthesiologist make after they're done with their training? It all depends, you know, just like with every profession. Uh, uh, typically, it can be divided into academic profession and a private practice. Academic profession, probably about $250,000. Uh, private practice, anywhere from uh, three hundred fifty to $600,000. It's, uh, it's what the pay is. Mean and um, private practice, I would say around $400,000 is what the pay okay. is. Any other advice for pre-med students out there or anyone interested in anesthesia? Yeah, I would say uh, seek out uh, people who are uh, residents or, in, or people in private practice. I think uh, you're going to find out that anesthesiologists, for the most part, are really laid back, really friendly people. They like to teach, they like to interact with students. Um, and I think you're going to get a feel for it. Uh, it's something that you don't really get in med school unless you go out and seek it. So I, I really recommend for college students, medical students, to go out and look for uh, a mentor or, or maybe just somebody who they know of in the anesthesiology world. Okay, awesome, thank you.